So here's a quick review of the four new pairs of sandals I've gotten that I'm going to try and sort through and figure out which pair I'm going to keep. I have here the Luna Mono Retro, the Luna Oso Retro, and two pairs of the Shama Ibex. In a, these are a size 9 Mono, a 9.5 Oso, a 9, and a 9.5 in the Ibex. And I'll take pictures of these as well on my feet. I currently have the um, Shama Super Goats in an 8.5, and, and I like them quite a lot, but they're a little small. So here's the Mono. They're um, kind of stiff. And the Oso, it seems a little more flexible than the Mono out of the box, but I understand that the Mono, that might be just how I'm holding it, um, gets quite soft over time as you wear it. The two pairs of Ibex, I mean, just much more flexible out of the box. Um, the treads on them, here's the Mono. People say that they're, they're good. Um, the Oso are much better, and I would assume that these Vibram soles are going to be also quite nice. So what surprised me a little bit was the, how little difference in size these two shoes are from um, Luna. They're almost the exact same length. They're like 0.2 centimeters different in length. I'd be curious what their website says. Um, but you can see they're different in thickness. Moana over here. Ibex over, I'm sorry, the Oso over here. So the, they're quite thick. And here are the Shama for comparison. And if we put a little tape measure on that, you can see that these end up being about a centimeter and a half in thickness. The Oso being slightly less thick than the Mono. And then the Ibex being a whole lot less thick than that. Um, mostly I wanted to do the video so I could show you how easy it is to roll these up. There's these other ones. It's, it's very difficult to roll these up. So I'll take pictures of them on and do a comparison of those as well.